Hello VG247, this is the floating voice of Simon Miller and just to be as transparent as possible, I love pro wrestling, I think it's the best thing ever, even if it is a bunch of men and women fighting in their underwear. Either you get it or you don't. When it comes to the games, however, it's fair to say they've had a checkered past. From true highlights such as No Mercy to the very varied Raw vs Smackdown era, WWE titles have managed to divide and conquer for over two decades. When we talk about the latest though, WWE 2K19, there's a certain sense of familiarity as it embraces the yearly sports model we're all used to. Much like a FIFA or a Madden, you kind of already know what to expect from 2K's offering as they continually find ways to tweak and update it to get the best possible experience. While it's certainly not perfect, for me it's the best version the developers put out since taking over the franchise, mostly down to how much content there is here. And my word, is there a lot of content. Filled up with modes, ideas, concepts, wrestlers and more, you can't criticize anyone involved for not trying to ensure this lasts the required 12 months. It keeps throwing things at you to the point of madness. We'll start with the returning showcase mode, which has been on people's most wanted list for some time. Focusing on everyone's favorite Daniel Bryan, you get to experience his ride from indie darling to WrestleMania 30 main event winner, complete with clips from the man himself explaining everything. It's well put together and pretty much designed to appease long-term fans, but given that it ticks all the necessary boxes, it's a welcome return to form and really something that should feature annually. It's an ideal way to tap into nostalgia without alienating those who may have no clue about a wrestler's storied career. WWE 2K19 also introduces a new tower mode that looked over to see how Mortal Kombat was operating and stole some of its ideas. Far from a criticism, it's where 2K has laid its fictional hat in terms of a challenge and good grief can this be hard. Essentially asking you to work your way through a set of foes all who have a particular theme, there's a UK tier for example with the British Bulldog on top. Each match in a block will also have different rules and stipulations so you can't just go through the motions. The difficulty of these ramps up so high you have to beat your very best to say the least and this is surely what most of us will be bragging about on social media when we successfully conquer them. Pulling your own teeth out would be easier, but don't try that. It's a waste of time. There's also My Career, where you can take a created character and play through a fully voiced story mode, complete with WWE superstars, that doesn't feel too dissimilar to FIFA's The Journey, but it's definitely worth your time. There is a sense that it's very much a work in progress, but getting to interact with digital versions of Braun Strowman, Triple H and Alexa Bliss is just ludicrous in the right way. It even has a podcast option which utterly underlines how much the developers are entrenched in the outer world of wrestling at the moment. One in particular savagely takes a past Jim Ross in his own weekly audio show, but does it with so much skill, it'll get a laugh out of you. On top of all of this, there's universe mode where you basically become a booker for WWE and live out your wildest fantasies that you don't currently get on Raw or SmackDown. All manner of exhibition types, a massive roster, the fact you can take most of this online, a bunch of bespoke options, and a creation suite deeper than your face. It's important to underline line that as well because it truly is a feather in the franchise's cap. The amount of effort and foresight gone into it is amazing to the point if you can think of a wrestler from any company, their likeness and moves are probably already hidden somewhere in the game. For as many WWE superstars as there are, the amount those with time and talent can muster up is almost never ending. It is incredible. I could sit here and explain all of these to you in depth, but there's no need. In terms of what the modes set out to do, they work. The real question being what everyone is going to think of the core mechanics. As stated earlier, you can't be overly surprised by how WWE 2K19 plays as it follows the trend set out by other sports titles. Tweaks and updates are the focus here, trying to find that perfect spot that appeases the masses. One day it would be nice to get a complete overhaul, but for now at least, this is still the best version on 2K's books. Animation has come on leaps and bounds from when the team first took over, and the impact of moves now carries with it the expected and desired punch. Some feel like you've actually killed your opponent. You can also chain maneuvers together with real skill, and there's an absolute sensation here that the more you play, the better you start to get, which is beyond true when we start talking about reversals. Bound to divide people down the middle, they have the power to both delight and corrupt. 2K has stalled their use somewhat in the sense you can't span them due to having a limited amount in terms of bigger moves, but the timing on them remains an absolute beast. At first, it'll make you want to tear your hair out, hence why I'm bald these days, but with the right dedication and patience they soon become an absolute game changer. This is nothing new but it does tie into WWE 2K19's highlight which no one ever talks about anymore, that being same console multiplayer. A lost start in 2018, if you invite some wrestling buddies around for a few matches and don't have fun, you're probably dead. Last minute kickouts or outwardly just turning on your friend after arranging a pact are truly moments to cherish and the game has the capabilities to be so dumb you can't help but smile. There's a big head mode now for example. 
That is just stupid. And yes, you can play this online too, and if the servers hold up, it'll be a plus point, but nothing beats having people round to play. There's just something about the nature of wrestling games. This doesn't mean it's all peaches and cream, however, as certain bugbears still remain, such as the commentary. Such an important area when it comes to WWE programming, it still often veers into nonsensical territory or the calling of invisible moves, and is basically just there as opposed to an actual highlight. This is even stranger given that 2K's NBA equivalent nails this every year, and it's an aspect I hope improves at some point in the future. We also have to mention that yes, VC is prominent throughout, allowing you to spend your own money to buy in-game currency and unlock in-game items. You can earn this too, and just to be completely honest, I never felt the need to splash my own cash, but I know how these things work in the modern day, and I've mentioned it now, so you can do with that what you will. There's an absolute ton of stuff I haven't brought up here because there simply isn't enough time, but that's the true joy of WWE 2K19. It packs itself full of goods and hopes you find something you enjoy. It's not perfect, and the gameplay itself will likely still irk a few people, but still, I had a damn good time playing it and still cannot get over just how deep the creation suite is. It's preposterous to be honest, and intimidating scares the shit out of me. Thank you for watching this WWE 2K19 review here on VG247. Now make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below, and I will talk to you again soon.